Hello knowledge seekers, this is Shoman from Oil and Gas Field Quality Control. This is part 2 of the interview questions uh, for procurement and PQCS. Please let us continue with the remaining few questions. Within how many days PO should be placed? Two weeks after receiving the no objection letter from the client. What PQCS need to check in a PO or purchase order? PO placement date, dummy PO number, MR approval, no objection letter, vendor details, 9COM number, material description, inspection level is right or not, and applicable standards are mentioned or not. State the contents of an ITP, inspection and test plan. Process description, quality control requirements, notification requirement for supplier inspection, witness hold points, minimum 5 working days, minimum inspection level per client standard, responsibility for inspection or test, applicable procedure, acceptance criteria, company and international industrial standard, verifying documents, inspection points, hold witness review by contractor and company, company dummy PO number and a reference to sub supplier ITP if applicable. State the contents of an IAP inspection assignment package, approval sheet, IAS that means inspection assignment sheet, inspection level, approved MR, NOL, unpriced PO, ITP, IR form, company standard, NMR, PIM agenda and TPI approval. How many digits are in inspection lot number? 12 digits. What should be the agenda of a PIM or pre-inspection meeting? The purpose of the meeting is to verify that the vendor is in possession of and understands all quality requirements of the purchase order and related documents to agree to the inspection involvement of the client and its inspection representative. During the PIM, the proposed ITP is also being verified and finalized with mutual discussion between the vendor, contractor and the client representative. What is NMR, non-material requirements? Difference between NMR 601, 602 and 603. NMR 601, preliminary drawings and date of review and approved by the buyer. NMR 602 contains certified drawings, literatures, photographs, etc. And NMR 603 is the final one, which has the operation maintenance manual, installation instruction, all test certificates, etc. What is NCR? It's a very easy question, but a proper definition we should know. A non-conforming record or NCR is a document that addresses specific deviations or work that fails to meet the quality standard. What should be the content of NCR? Description of non-conformance, root cause analysis, preventive action and corrective action. Difference between corrective and correction action. Correction prevents a recurrence, while corrective action prevents occurrence. Correction is carried out after a non-conformity has already occurred, whereas corrective action is planned with the goal of preventing non-conformity in its entirety. After how many days a contractor NCR is not solved will convert to a client NCR? All NCRs shall have an ACD or agreed completion date, which is mutually agreed between the contractor and the client. If contractor fail to complete the correction within the SED, they can request an one-time extension of SED for maximum of three months. This extended days shall be based on the type of the correction required. If it is a time taking or not in the hand of contractor or uncertain, then maximum three months SED can be provided to the contractor. In case the contractor or vendor cannot complete the correction within even this extended ACD, it will be escalated to the client NCR, means the next level of escalation. What are the contents of IDR or FDR? Narrative details of quality activities performed during manufacturing or fabrication of the equipment 
or material. Copies of company approved waivers to company's requirement, if any. All contractor inspection reports, copies of supplier quality records as specified in client standard, copies of NCR with final disposition and resolutions, if there is any, outstanding punch list items from pre-shipment inspections, if there is any, inspection and shipping release is the final document. What are the quality deliverables a PQCS shall submit to the client vendor inspection representative? Inspection and fabrication status report, two weeks look ahead, and PQI inputs. What is Q and QC? The basic and very elementary question, but I find this definition is very simple and very appropriate. Quality assurance can be defined as a part of quality management focused on providing confidence that quality requirement will be fulfilled. Quality control can be defined as part of quality management who is focusing on fulfilling the quality requirements. Basic question again, but still let us discuss. ISO 9001-2015, what are the clauses? There are 10 clauses. First one is introduction, clause one is zero, clause two is normative references, clause three is terms and definitions. From clause four, the actual content starts, which is context of the organization. There are four sub clauses, 4.1 understanding the organization and its context, 4.2 understanding the needs and expectation of interest, but interested parties. 4.3 determining the scope of quality management system 4.4 quality management system and its processes clause 5 is leadership and commitment 5.1 three sub clauses 5.1 leadership and commitment 5.2 is policy 5.3 is organization role and responsibilities and authorities clause 6 is planning for the quality management system Three sub clauses, 6.1 actions to address risks and opportunities, 6.2 quality objectives and planning to achieve them, and 6.3 is planning of changes. Clause 7, support and resource management. Five sub clauses, 7.1 resources, 7.2 competence, 7.3 awareness, 7.4 communication, 7.5 documented information. Clause 8 is operational planning and control. 7 sub clauses 8.1 operational planning and control. 8.2 requirements of product and services. 8.3 design and development of products and services. 8.4 control of externally provided processes, products and services. 8.5 production and service provision. 8.6 release of products and services. 8.7 control of non-conforming outputs. Clause 9 performance evaluation. Three sub clauses 9.1 monitoring measurement analysis and evaluation which is again can be divided to customer satisfaction and analysis and evaluation. 9.2 is internal audit. 9.3 management review. Clause 10 is improvement actions. Three sub clauses 10.1 is general. 10.2 non-conformity and corrective action, 10.3 is continual improvement. When HIC test is required for sour service, state some flange materials, alloy 825, CS A405N, CS859, A707, A350, there are much more, only some example. State some valve materials, CS A216WCB, alloy 825A494, A105N, etc. State some ENI equipment need to be procured, CP materials, DG, generator, switch rack, MVPC. So that's all for questions of interview. If you are appearing for PQCS or procurement related any inspector position, these are very basic questions. Again, it is not intended for any um, specific exam. It is just to increase our knowledge base. If you like the way of my teaching, please subscribe my channel, share it to your friends and don't forget to hit the like button. Signing off for today, Showman.